never thought it could happen to me I had a wife and a Mercedes Benz A green back for every blade of grass on my lawn To win people and influence friends Just one night of sin Now I'm spinning on a merry-go-round While my world come tumbling down My world come tumbling down My life got mixed up with Ten Finger Jack in a way I could not have foreseen. He spoke in million dollar metaphors, but he reeked just like cheap gasoline. He said he couldn't rest until he put me six feet underground. And my world came tumbling down. My world came tumbling down. Tumbling down. Yeah. All right. We are with Ron Sunshine and that song. Uh, most people probably would not pick up what it was connected to, what it is connected to. Talk to us. Well, we were uh, right in the post September 11th period, and it was we had a lot of feelings we had to deal with. My songwriting partner and I, Craig Dreyer, and we decided to try to process some of that by writing a song. It's sort of an allegory about what we felt was uh, going on in the world and how a thing like that could happen. What brought it on, mm. who did it. That's that, Craig. We're that's Craig right Dreyer, yeah. How long have you been in this business? Uh, I've been doing this full time for 15 years. It's interesting because you got your first paid professional gig at 26 years of age. You know, oh, you're aging me. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> but, but, but what's interesting is that for someone who is so committed, loves the music, someone might say, hey, that's kind of a late start. How did that happen? Well, I, I guess I was always involved with music one way or another, but I wasn't trying to, I didn't think I could seriously make a living at it. And I, I went to college, graduated. Was Columbia? Worth, yeah, I did. I went to Columbia. A degree in? Uh, English and history. Okay. Yeah. And then I worked a lot of odd jobs. I ended up traveling a lot to further my education, and uh, I sort of fell into it by accident. Yeah, but at the and same time, you grew up in a family that was very much connected to music. Describe that's true, that. yeah. I have four older sisters, and they were always playing me great music. And uh, my father was a trumpet player. He played in big bands. And there's always a lot of music around. By the way, speaking of uh, big bands, we have Clark Terry coming in after wow. this. Do you know? Uh, 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 see? <laughs> now you I'm are excited to be uh, in the same building as Clark Terry. Look at that. Who, 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 look at that. <laughs> who are we looking at right there? Uh, that's myself and Clark Terry and my friend Toma. We were at Town Hall. A couple of years ago. New York for, uh, City? Yeah. And since you've got Clark Terry in the green room coming in after this, but it's a thrill for all of us just to have him here. Yeah. Um, let's go back to you. Music history. Clark Music Terry. history, that's right. The fact that he happened to have uh, been a mentor to Miles Davis, not a big deal. <laughs> uh, how about this? You get into the business. You say you want to uh, do your thing, but what is your thing? Because as I've, been listen as I've been listening to the music, you move in and out of different genres, right? That's right. Describe yeah. it. Well, I think they're all part of the same American music tradition. Like, take a guy who's in the media a lot right now, Ray Charles, the late, right. great Ray Charles. Same thing could be said of him. You know, he sort of combines a lot of different influences, gospel, blues, jazz, R&B. He was, you know, he created his own genre, but he also did country music. He did big band, swing, you know. People sometimes try to pigeonhole you, like, what do you do? What's your thing? That's right. That doesn't work. Constantly. Well, I... I try to just make good music that I like, you know, that's the bottom line. Mm. Let's talk about some of the other, by the way, folks, uh, Ron Sunshine, the CD is called Deluxe. Got some great uh, songs on here. Do you have one that you can just, uh, guys, do you have one queued up that we want to do? Help me on this. Coffee and Reefer. Coffee and, coffee and Reefer. Whoa, 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 whoa. Breakfast of Champions. This is a family show. <laughs> you were doing Coffee and Reefer. Go ahead. Go okay. for it. Here we go. You, want, you need to say anything about it beforehand? Or does it speak for itself? I think it speaks for itself. Go for it. Well, now, chocolate cake makes my poor stomach ache. And all those pills are too much for me to take. I don't like cocaine, cause it makes me all uptight. But coffee and reefer makes me feel all right. Crystal meth will make you high and it's cheap 
But I never like going five days without sleep. Acid makes you say stupid things like out of sight. But coffee and reefer makes me feel all right. You know the coffee take you high, the reefer take you low. The beans will make you fly while the bud will make you slow. Shooting speed balls will make you sell your stereo. But who ever heard of going in hock for a cup of joe? You know that crank will land you right in the clank. Smoke that nasty crack and you want to rob a bank. Forget the nicotine, the ketamine, the benzodrine. Try coffee and reefer for a real mellow scene. Yeah. Spend a couple of hours alone. Don't you operate machinery when you're smoking on that weed? The Cartoon Channel has everything you need. I see it. Ecstasy will cause a man to love a wall. Whiskey uh, makes you love a girl you never touch at all. A mescaline will turn you into a little pinky racer. So try cappuccino with a Mella Gage chaser. <laughs> Make you feel all right. Now, we love that song. It's got a great thought, but we do not condone oh, illegal drug use. Neither do I. Neither I, do I just want to make sure. It's all in good fun. All yeah. in good fun. Part of the, the long line of reefer songs. You know, yeah, yeah, I got a reefer to the song. 20s, right? Right. Uh, who writes this stuff? Uh, that was written by Craig Dreyer and myself. Yeah. Describe the writing process for you, collaborating with someone else. It's always a little different. In this particular case, I had that title in my head for maybe 10, 15 years. Coffee and Reefer? Yeah, because uh, my friend Wild Bill Durkin always used to talk about coffee and reefer, coffee and reefer. <laughs> I'm sure he won't mind my saying that. But. Yeah, and, it was uh, in your head. And I, you know, Craig and I were writing songs for this record, and let's write one called Coffee and Reefer. What do we want it to sound like? You know, It's kind of a little Louis Jordan-esque musically and we just can't you know we uh, decided we want to el eliminate all these other drugs and just coffee and reefer. Yeah. The people who had a great influence on you, you know it's funny I'm listening to you and this may not take this as a compliment John Prine. I've listened to John Prine in my childhood. Okay yeah. and I'm thinking to myself who influenced you I can't figure this out because you're coming from a lot of perspectives who had a great influence on you? Um, well you know, as a, as a kid, I listened to a lot of Beatles, a lot of Sly and the Family Stone, a lot of, you know, B.B. King. I've listened to a lot of uh, George Clinton, Parliament Funkadelic. Right. As a, as a songwriter, I'm a big admirer of Tom Waits. And, you know, in the jazz world, I, you know, I love Thelonious Monk. I love Ellington. I, I once locked myself in my apartment for two years and listened to nothing but Duke Ellington. Why? Because <laughs> it was just so much to learn, you know. It's just so beautiful, such an amazing body of work. 